Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time, friend. <laughs> I know it's been a long time. I've been, you know, um, I don't know. I really don't know why I don't do sit down videos no more. Like, I really don't have an excuse for it. Other than I have other platforms that I'm trying to get into more like tiktok if you're not following me on tiktok or instagram let's do that follow my stories on instagram because i don't really post like that because me and instagram are long and long i've never been like a picture girl i like videos i like movement i like you to see the whole picture get at least a little bit more of the information you know what i'm saying but anyway i have my coffee here I was trying to get all wind up because I'm like, why don't I feel like filming sit down videos? I'm overthinking it for no reason because I don't know how to turn off this and go back to my like TikTok type style and then come back to like this. <laughs> but I just gotta realize that like it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Oh, y'all wanna see my shirt? Because it's Black History Month and I'm blickety blackity blackity blah 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 blah. All right, let's get to the hair. I washed my hair yesterday, and I was supposed to do my hair yesterday, y'all. That didn't happen. I just went to sleep with the towel on, so I know my hair is like dry now. And for those who don't know, I cut my hair, I dyed my hair. Oh, it's a little wet. We still got some wetness. We still got some wetness. I don't know what these ends looking like that fuck. But a lot of y'all been asking me like have I seen like a change in my hair since I got my hair colored and I do want to address that So friend yes, like <laughs> please don't bleach your hair thinking your hair gonna look the same before you bleached it Please don't do that. You're actually altering your hair So yeah, but I will say it's easier to manage with the blonde as my hair continue to grow It is getting a little harder because my hair grow in real thick Y'all know I got a lot of hair, okay? I've always had a lot of hair. I always probably gonna have a lot of hair. I don't care. I'm for anything that is like more chill, relaxing, and doesn't take a lot of time because I'm doing so much with me doing the house and doing TikToks and trying to stay on Instagram, trying to build my business, trying to get merch, trying to create a new website. Bitch. Your friend look tired, I ain't gonna lie to you. See, this video might be like a chit chat and a hair video because I just feel like talking now. So yeah, I also feel like my hair is like high porosity now because of how it just absorbs moisture. I love the color so much that like, it's not even that deep, y'all. We gotta get up out of the um whole mentality of doing things just because it's a trend and stuff. Like what, do whatever you feel like doing with your hair and your face and your life. Y'all gotta go ahead. I told y'all if them people stop worrying about what folks be saying about y'all I'm telling you so I started off with my shampoo y'all know I love the red can clean maniac hair cleansing cream I like to use this after protect the styles y'all know I just did those braids and then I wore the braid out for a few days So this was needed this cleaned my hair really really well y'all I love it so much and then I went in with the curl days silky hydration intense deep conditioning mask black owned moisturizing i did need something with a little bit more protein in it but this did just what it needed to do it's very very thick so it definitely moisturized my hair as y'all can see it's so soft uh, but then i also went in with the nancy's kitchen leave-in conditioner y'all i ain't got that much of this as you can see after i put the leave-in in in the shower y'all know how i do i went ahead and put them in four different sections and I put these clips on and put the towel on and that's all that I have done so far. I just picked up the Taraji Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. I know I already have a leave-in conditioner on but I want something to help me moisturize it so that when I brush it again and then put my styling product on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and brush it through with the Felicia Leatherwood brush. So now I'm gonna go in with the Dew, the Texture Foam by them. This is the best foam that I've ever used. Y'all, I haven't used this in a minute. And we're going to be doing perm rods. I did ask y'all to vote on um, Instagram which one y'all wanted. And perm rods was in the lead, so I had already got my mind set on perm rods. And now, flexi rod winning. Y'all just gonna have to get that next, son, because I don't want to go back in that closet and go and get them flexi rods. And I already got these perm rods. You're gonna get what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this, what you're gonna get. Okay? This is what you're gonna get. 
Okay. All right, y'all. So you want to smooth that out, brush that out. I'm gonna use my tangle teaser to get it really, really smooth. Right? I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can. Then I'm gonna take. I, mean, I should have got the papers to wrap around these. I don't. I don't have it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and secure the end first. And then we're gonna twist it. And we're twisted. And we're twisted. And we're twisted. And we're twist, twist, twist. And we're twisted. And you make sure you go all the way to the top like that right now. Like that we're done now. Right, get it tight. Now get it right. Get it right, get it tight. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. All right, if you gotta twirl that thing around like I told you, you gotta get it tight, you gotta get it right. If you gotta twirl it around like that right now. That what you gotta do, friend. You gots to do what you gots to do. All right, and then you go ahead and secure that. Like that right now. If you gotta rotate that a little bit to get that title, then that's what you got to do. All right, and then you can move on. And I'm trying to part just a little bit. Like normally I part with my fingers and I don't try to like part with a comb. But I told myself, I said, I need to start part with a comb so I can make sure they nice and tight. So yeah, friend, we really just repeating this over and over and over again. So I'm gonna take my section, go ahead and brush that out. I like this brush better because it has smaller teeth, even though my hair already in the brush. I need to clean this brush. I ain't want to show you, but like, I mean, since you in my business. So I'm spraying a little leave in there, but I didn't want to make it too wet, but yeah, use the little bristle brush. Don't use the Felicia. The Felicia was good for the detangling, but if you want styling and stuff like that, you want to use something like this, a tangle teaser with a little bit of teeth. Get that nice and smooth. Keep pulling on it. So then we're going to take the mousse. Get that in your hand. You like that roll? Roots. Start at them roots. Get them roots nice and smooth, then the rest of the product will lead its way on down to the shaft. But make sure you get them roots, especially if you got hair color, because the roots is different, friend. You already know that's different. This ain't been touched, this been touched. You need a little extra care to the roots. You don't need much to the color hair, because the color hair really, like, it don't need a lot. You don't want to overdo it, because like I said, half rusty anyway. So let's go on and brush that out. You see, now it looks a little more because you put more product up here and let it just trickle down so you ain't put too much on this product to weigh it down because you know the hyperosity, you wet it down. You put some on hyperosity, be like, whoo, we dead done. That's why when you hop in the shower, you put water on it and hyperosity, whoo, your hair absorbs all of that, right? And low porosity, eh, that bitch don't do nothing. <laughs> anyway, a little bit more phone. It just took me a long ass time. It took me a long ass time. I done been on Instagram live. I done been on TikTok live. I'm still on TikTok live, but I'm done. All of the rollers are in. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer. It is 12.30. I think I started around 10.30. So took two hours to put this in. I'm gonna sit on the dryer for two hours and then I'm gonna check back with y'all and see where we are. Cause I'm hoping that it's dry. But yeah, this is what they're looking. I'm gonna give y'all a close up. You can see. Okay y'all, so I sat under the dryer for two hours. I'm just gonna take them out because I think we're at that point, even if they're not dry, I need to take them out so that the roots can get dry, especially because I have somewhere to go. It's already three o'clock, so your girl need to get on it. And I did take one out and 
it's giving. I think it's it's giving very much so like spring, springy. I'm gonna have a little bitty short fro, but I wanna see. I wanna say I'm ready to say. All right, friend, let's take them out. All right, y'all, so I think I'm gonna go and sit under the dryer. My hair is dry, though. If I'm being honest, it's dry. This one, maybe not so much, but I just wanna sit on the dryer just to get, like, it really sealed in, just for probably, like, 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna walk around. I think I may go ahead and start, like, getting ready because it's already 3 o'clock, and I wanna be on time today if I can. So I'm probably gonna, like, go figure out what I wanna wear and stuff, and then we're gonna come back and finish and then I'll show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, so I am back and I'm running late, so we have to really do this really quickly. This is what my hair is looking like. Y'all already seen it. All I did was sat under the dryer for like 15 minutes, did my makeup, got my stuff together, vlogged a little bit, and we're here. So I'm gonna be using the Kerastase oil. I'm just gonna put some oil on my hands just to get my hands on nice and oiled. And I'm just gonna start from the back, clip my hair up out of the way and separate oh my gosh y'all there's so much hold with just that foam <laughs> like these girls ain't going nowhere okay guys i've separated all of my curls they so cute but now it's picking time i've already started picking some of them out but what you want to do is you want to pull and take your pick i like the pattern beauty pick, even though it's missing a pick already. And I like to just stab at it. But nah, really just go in from the roots and comb up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, comb up. I could stretch this if I would like. But for some reason, I have this urge to just let it drop on its own. So that's what we're gonna do. So yes, I'm gonna look like Curly Sue for a few days. But I'm like loving the curls. I have tried to destroy these curls. They're not going anywhere. Like, baby, they're not going anywhere. You can run your fingers. You can possibly comb them out with your fingers just like this. They're still gonna be no frizz and completely curled. This is weird, but like I'm obsessed. This looks like a wig. <laughs> I got my onesie on. Y'all wanna see? <laughs> oh. You looking at my tushy? Or my tail? <laughs> it's a unicorn. <sighs> anyway, that's how I'm gonna wear it tonight. So I was like, ain't no need of me doing all that if I'm gonna be like this all night. You know what I'm saying? And I got my boots on as the night progresses. This is going to like drop and all that good stuff. But girl, these curls are here. Like, I think I did a good job. I think I did a fantastic job, darling. I need to separate them some more as well. But like I said, I gotta go. It's 5.39, y'all. I'm already late. So, let me give y'all a 360. What is? So pretty. It's been two days. So this is what my hair is looking like today. Now I will say I did separate again. I had to, I had to separate like each strand into the smallest of strands because I wanted more volume. They were just so perfect. I was like, they too perfect for you. We gotta go ahead and, and do it. I was gonna like wear it out for a week before I like separated it some more, but no, I just like, let me just go ahead and separate it because I need the big fro, honey, and we have the big fro. I haven't even picked it out. All I've done was separate every single curl and put my makeup on. I just took my scarf off. And for those who are gonna ask me how I sleep with this time, this is how I sleep. But let me tell you, if your hair is too soft, it ain't gonna work. You have to use products that are holding. This right here was just like a spray leave-in. It ain't like stupid moisturizing. And I put this on in the shower. But that was the only thing that I have in my hair for moisture. And then I just have that foaming mousse for hold. It is soft though. I'm not gonna say, y'all see it's like, it's not crunchy. Like it's soft. It's stupid soft. 
but they're defined and as you can see as I'm touching there's no frizz that's why when I was separating it I was like oh my god I can keep separating them and my hair isn't getting frizzy they're still like so defined ah, so good oh this is so good look at that y'all like I can even separate some of them some more crazy crazy <laughs> Love that, love that. Get into it, yeah. I love it. I love it so much, y'all. All right, that's it. I mean, you don't need to see any more days, I don't think. And if you do, then you just follow me on Instagram and come follow me on my stories, and I got you, friends. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.